Okay, seat belts are fastened, fuel shuttle valve is on. So if I can apply to friction, it's kind of off. Rotor brake is disengaged. Circuit breaker is on. Concrete is off and unlocked. Mixture for rich, mixture car installed. Man lights off. Avionic switch is off. Clutch is disengaged. Clear. Clear to left. Check, check. All right, check. I have you. Sounds good. Um, after the clutch light goes out, before you roll up, just make sure the circuit breakers are in. All right. Even after I checked at the beginning? Yeah, because if uh, that clutch circuit breaker comes up, the light will go out. Oh, okay. I see. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure that, okay. Yep, there is that uh, fuse next to the warning test lights that's supposed to go first before the circuit breaker would pop to prevent that from happening. But uh, if for some reason the clutch circuit breaker was up, then yeah, that clutch light would go out even if the belts aren't fully tensioned. Okay. Right. Tango Bravo, runway one zero right, clear for the option. Clear to the option, one zero right, nine at Tango Bravo. Hey, we're Tower Helicopter 307 Sierra Hotel. Uh, can we get left traffic for one zero left from current position? Helicopter 7 Sierra Hotel unable, I've only got a diamond star making left orbit over one zero left. Uh, okay, 7 Sierra Hotel, thanks. Carpet's good. All right, time. Greens. 
so. Here with tower 727 Romeo, holding short runway 10 right at Buckshot, ready for uh, final work. 727 Romeo, stand by for landing traffic. 1 1000, 2 1000. Copy, 727 Romeo. 1 1000, 2 1000, good. And, Back to both. Romeo, use for and what are you looking for there? I'm looking for a drop, oh, two, but not, not below. Um, Roger. Not below 7%. Yeah. Okay. And what if it didn't drop? What if it didn't drop? Uh, Roger that. Uh, well, then I'd, I'd want to... Well, that means that maybe one of the mags is not... Yeah, it would mean that the the P lead is probably broken, yeah, and the well, mag isn't turning it off when you do the test, which is also an issue. So yeah, if you don't see a drop there either, then... Just you gotta check the mag. That's a no-fly. Yeah, That's I would have fly it. Romeo, runway 10 right, line up and wait. 10 right, line up and wait. Alright, right, let's check. Very good split. Try that again. A little higher. A little more of a split, but it's not a great split. Yeah, the idle's set really high on this one, so the split isn't quite as dramatic as our other 22s. But yeah, Should as long as you see those needles set a little bit. Yeah. Request straight out departure right. from Taxiway Zulu over to Coyote Hills. Doors are launched. Copter 7 0 stand by for traffic. Copter 7 0 8 niner altimeter 2 niner 8 niner our nav GPS, runway 28 left, circle south, runway 10 right, approach in use, landing at the parking runways 10. Notice the emissions, here at DME unmonitored. Use caution for obstruction, tower lights out of service. For more information, check notums. Advise, let's contact information, hotel. Hotel. Hotel information, hotel, time 19054 Zulu, wind 030 at 5. Visibility 8, ceiling 3900, overcast. Overcast. Temperature 14, dew point 9er, altimeter 29 8 niner. Our nav GPS, runway 28 left, circle south, runway 10 right, approach in use. Landing at the parking runways 10. Notice the emissions, here at DME unmonitored. Use caution for obstruction, tower lights out of service. For more information, check notums. Advise, let's contact information, hotel. Alright, hotel. Alright, so 14. Two, two, eight, eight, word, tower, so 20. Fly. I continue that heading and turn right down with runway 10. 22. Right. 24. Roger, uh, continue this heading, we'll enter a right down with runway 10. Alright, 233. From Niner Tango Bravo, runway 10 right, clear for the option. 10 right, clear for the option. Alright, Niner Tango Bravo. Alright, just coming. Look out for 7 still tell traffic, and the upwind is the south zone remaining in the right close traffic. Your straight out departure is approved. Next way is the loop, clear for takeoff. Cut that traffic in the upwind in sight, straight out departure approved, uh, 7 Sierra Hotel. Alright, I'm gonna go with that lights on. Alright. Governor's coming on. That's a 7 Sierra Mio, number 2, following the cub in the downwind, runway 1 0 right, here's the option. Alright, lights out, over the green, turning the green. Number two one zero right, clear for the option. Seven seven zero Romeo. All right, the rotor warning horn. All right, good. All right, lights out, top of green. Harpy's out of the yellow. All right. So left side's clear. Right side's clear. So what are you gonna? What do you wanna do? Just uh, we'll just do right traffic too. What do you call that then? Uh, Zulu a beam the firehouse. Okay. Yeah. Now we'll just do a warm up pattern. Yeah. Uh, get to know each other. Make All sure right. you're feeling good. Make sure the helicopter's feeling good. All right. Sounds good. One zero left. One zero left. Uh, Touch back. Clear to land. Turn to zero Romeo. And then I know you said uh, work on reviewing some EPs. Is there anything uh, that you want to work on besides that? Oh, yeah, sorry, seven zero. No, uh, we would just do pa we can just do patterns and whatnot. Sounds good. Just to kind of make you comfortable. Oh, I'm comfortable. Same night hours a day in these things. 
Well, make you comfortable with me. <laughs> Make sure we clear our tail before we paddle turn. Hayward Tower, helicopter 479 Sierra Hotel, the signature. Requesting right close traffic to Zulu Abeam, the fire station with hotel. Romeo, turn left at Delta Contact Ground. Left at Delta Contact Ground. Look up for 4700 Soso, Hayward Tower. Make right traffic for Zulu Abeam, the fire station. Next way, Zulu Abeam, signature clear for takeoff. Next way, Zulu Abeam, the fire station, clear land. Right close traffic to the fire station on Zulu, Abeam Zulu. Clear takeoff, Zulu Abeam, signature, clear land. Fire station will be, I mean, taxi with will be in fire station. 4792 Hotel, thank you. Well, then just make sure part of your hover check is uh, checking where your carb temp hangs out. You want to keep that out of the yellow. Sit down then. A matter tangle, Bravo only 1 0 right there for the option. If you want, I can raise it for you. Or just have to ask me a little bit of risk. Yeah. Right. Traffic departing taxiway Zulu remaining in the pattern for taxiway Zulu is a helicopter. So that traffic just widen out your downwind a bit to the left. Uh, Roger that. Yeah, looking for that helicopter will make the pattern wide for Kona 228. Hotel, hotel, extend your upwind and I'll call your turn. Extending upwind, you'll call my turn. 4700. And especially with. Uh, Tailwind and these low obstacles, we yeah. don't need to get going too quick, so just slow it down a little bit. 53 is our best speed anyway. And once we're about 58, yeah, there you go. Traffic. About your 1 o'clock, 2 miles, it's going to be extending upwind a helicopter at 400. Uh, roger that. Still looking for that helicopter. Should I go a little bit to the right or? Yeah. Helicopter 9 or field tow, off direct in traffic, 1 o'clock, 1 mile, 1,100. Watch your altitude. Watch your Right down when it's a safe there. Traffic inside, 479 or traffic on to my 1 o'clock. Helicopter 9 or field tow, thank you. Pass behind that traffic. All right, pass behind the traffic, 479 or field tow, thank you. We got the traffic in place for Kona 228. Thank you. You are on a curve short final runway one zero right to the way. Okay, Roger, looking for the curve. Okay, uh, so I'm following side. I can turn then, right? Yep, and, and they're faster than us. Yeah. So as soon as we're a beam them, you can turn. Now with this um funky pattern with the reverse. Yeah. Just make sure we're really mindful of our altitude. All right. What is Well, the, just under 1000, right? Uh what oh. what is the pattern altitude for oh, uh, well, Zulu? We usually go 600. 550. 550 or at 600. the most. Yeah. 550 you want me to go down then. Yeah. All right. And then just remember if you're pulling less than 18, car beat all the way up. Hayward Tower, uh, 19410, uh, holding uh, what's our left for a left crosswind departure. I'm not going to Bravo, extend upwind. So where were we turning base? Uh, uh, okay, right there. Yeah, so it does get to be a little bit of a squeeze play over there since they turn base. Would you still follow the railroad track then, or? Uh, the one four fly one parallel to the taxiway, so, so left not quite. Left or take off. Uh, you can also well, I guess I go closer. Yeah, I like saying about a half mile away from the taxiway. All right. Um, yeah, landing at the firehouse, you can turn base, uh, like, just before the building with that 
second story up there, the one that we normally turn crosswind after. Yeah, okay. Just to give us a little bit more buffer between us and the planes. Trade out, call your left for now. Trade out, you'll call left, 410. Another tangle, Bravo, your uh, Boston turn is approved. Tangle, Bravo, Dolby, Bravo. Going at 228, turn left at Delta, hold short, only 10 left. Roger, left at Delta, hold short, 10 left, going at 228. All right, clear left. Center. I'm sorry, 6 November, right. Kilo, stop departing, 10 left, making the Before that, the that little left. story thing? Yeah, just because, yeah, planes Take also have to turn their base. Okay. Okay. Because of the Charlie here. Right. Just giving a few hundred feet. Roger. Going at 228, cross only 10 left, take contact ground. Cross one zero left into ground, thanks. Going to two two eight. Our flight aware nine eight holding short of one zero left on Fox Truck. Flight aware nine or eight, hey word tower. Cross the way one zero left. Fox truck hold short only one zero right full for release. Cross one zero left on Fox Truck will hold short of one zero right uh, on Fox Truck for uh, hold for release for flight aware nine eight. I'm sorry, 6 over Merkilo, two stall traffic heading to your right, less than a mile, lower, 700, northbound, 7. I'm turning now, so uh, no, it's not a factor, 6 Merkilo. Roger. That's 410, traffic just off your left is a uh, diamond on 1,400. They're turning now, it should be no factor, you can start your northbound turn. 410, turning now. Tango Bravo, only one zero right. Clear for the up. Ten right, there'll be a full stop landing for line at Tango Bravo. Just anticipate the right yaw because of the left crosswind. Looks mm. nice and slow here. Uh, Once we're in a stable hover, let's just go in and back taxi. The firehouse, clear our tail before we pedal. Clear right. So what's um our LTE recovery? Recovery? Yeah. If we get unanticipated right yaw. Yeah, that's part of it. So left pedal, a little bit of forward cyclic, and if we can, lower collective just a little bit. And that's kind of just a smooth left pedal hold, a little bit of forward and lower collective cyclic. Let's go to back taxi, just give us some more takeoff room. So yeah, when we're coming in and we know we're going to have a left crosswind and we start to get that unanticipated right yaw, just make sure you loosen up a little bit, apply left pedal and hold it, don't back off of it. A little bit of forward cyclic, just lower, just a little bit, and as soon as you do that, all that yaw goes away. As long as it was LTE and not something more sinister. Okay, well, okay, so left pedal. Well, forward cyclic. Yep, a little to, bit of forward cyclic. Just so that you have a little bit of forward motion. Yeah, it just stabilizes the aircraft a little bit. We don't need to pull quite as much power, producing more torque, which yaws us to the right even more, right? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's literally just, I'm just going to come onto your controls a little bit. You're, you're still flying. It's literally just a little bit of forward, a little bit of left, a little bit of lower, and then all of a sudden it goes away. It's just little bit of the all three. Okay. If you have altitude to use. Okay. Right. Don't want to tense up and pull back and up on collective. Probably and we can slow down. Um, and with the pedals, we want to be a little bit smoother and hold the left end. Because we're pre-on to the right, we don't want to be okay. back and forth, right? All right, we should practice that. So is that something that's practicable? Yeah, I mean, uh, next approach, we're going to feel it again, just yeah, like okay. we did on this approach, right. right? So let's do another pattern. Okay. And we can slow down here.
Yeah, we'll just do another normal takeoff, uh, normal approach. And I want you to be really conscious of that right yaw as we slow down. Okay. All right, so clear right yep. for left pedal turn. That again, oh, right. just that power. All right. All right, I'm ready to come back in for a landing. 896 over a kilo. 896 over a kilo, make left traffic, one way one zero left, one way one zero left, clear to land. Left traffic, one zero left, clear to land, one zero left, kilo. Sounds like one zero left, just open up if you don't like the taxiway. One zero left. Taxiway is okay. All right, sounds good. Tower Tower, helicopter 4790 Hotel, requesting uh, right close traffic to Zulu Abeam Fire Station. Helicopter 90 Hotel, make right traffic, taxiway Zulu Abeam D Fire Station, clear for takeoff, clear to land. Clear takeoff, clear to land, right traffic to the fire station on Zulu. 4790 Hotel. Normally turn crosswind. Uh, you can go ahead and turn after these houses. Okay. But the big thing is just be conscious of left drift because we've got one zero right. Oh. Departure end immediately to our left, so we don't want to drift into that right. So keep it. Note your heading as you're taking off out with your ground track parallel. Make sure you don't fly any further left than okay. that. And then just again, be mindful of our altitude. And this time I want you to fly parallel to the taxiway about a half mile out instead of following the tracks. Okay. This distance seems about a half mile. All right. And then do you have a specific spot that you do your pre-landing checks? I usually do on the downwind. Okay. But I just did it, so. Yeah, I like to do mine, um, a beam my landing spot on the downwind, just okay. so I have a fixed point where I do it every single time, just keeps right. me from forgetting. All right, so lights at top of the green. green. Carpet, not the yellow. Full carpet. Great indicator of the wind on the flag on that concrete mixer. I'm six over kilo, stay parking. I'm going. I mean, one of the things that I continually need to work on is just sort of attitude flying. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, that's. Look at Charlie over the ground. Have a good day. We can look at that first. That in regards to like turns or just pitch in general? Bo well, both. Okay. In general. Straight level and turns, right? So, short, so zero, not climbing or descending in the turns. Request straight out departure. Right. Final 2672 Victor Hayward Tower. I mean, that, that ties departure. into my difficulties with auto. Because, one one zero left. you know, Maintain uh, the, maintain the, uh, let me not attitude in auto. Then we'll go ahead and just focus on the landing, practice sterile cockpit. And then just remember um, LTE recovery if we get that unanticipated yaw. Right. Flight we're nine or eight, wind zero three zero at nine or runway one zero right, just pick up. 
Traffic is landing taxiway Zulu of the fire station, a helicopter headed to your right. It's correct to stay in trim while I'm coming down. Yep, so above 50 feet, stay okay. in trim, and below 50, 50 feet, feet skids are fine with ground okay. track. Yep. As a copy of confirmation, India current, wind 0408, altimeter 2987. So the main problem with before was I was just kind of going back and forth with the pedals. Is that, uh, what, is that what you noticed? Your, um, we were, yeah, just a little tense, and when we started to yaw right, we got a little bit more tense, and our right inputs got a little big. It's just got to be a smooth left pedal, a little bit of forward, lower collective just a little bit. So as we start to slow down through here, you're going to feel it start to yaw to the right. I just want you to keep that left pedal in, and if we start to yaw to the right even more, lower collective just a little bit, and a little bit of forward cyclic. But this approach feels much more controlled and stable, so we're not going to have as much of an issue. Okay. Yeah. Meaning I was a little bit late on the collective before, you think? Well, here we go again. <laughs> so, ease a little bit of lower, a little bit of forward cyclic. Even though you want to pull back, don't pull back. See how much... As soon as you do that, that yaw goes away, right? Oh, I see. And then stable hover, then pedal turn. But yeah, it's kind of counterintuitive. Like, as soon as we yaw to the right and the ground's coming up, we yeah, get nervous and we want to get tense, and yeah. that causes our arm to pull back. We just got to kind of consciously push through it a little bit, and then we're fine. I mean, is it forward cycle just because you're trying to get, I mean, help, to have the fin help out? Uh, I mean, we're I mean, not quite want, fast enough for the oh, stabilizer okay. to be really doing anything. It's mostly oh, that no every knot of forward airspeed increases our efficiency, therefore we don't need quite as, as much. much yeah, I mean, unless we have a tailwind and we're in and out of our vortices, but that's a completely different conversation. Okay. Um, but yeah, let's go to back taxi. All right. Okay, right side's clear. You're at 665 Mike at the run-up for 10 lap rate. You're at 665 Mike, hey, we're in tower, say departure request. Uh, straight out. 0665, Mike, make a straight out departure, flow 1,500, runway 10 one left, clear for takeoff. Yeah, so with this much crosswind, it's not going to be ideal to do straight out departure. autos to the taxi yeah, yeah, yeah. or the runway. So if you want to do some auto practice, we can head out to the practice area and work on entries, glides, and manipulation. Or if you just want to keep practicing crosswind considerations, I'm totally happy doing that too. Yeah, let's just, just stay here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, there are, are also other emergencies that we can practice, even with the crosswind. In fact, I'll uh, give you one on the, the next lap. Not going to do anything crazy to you. Promise right. not to chop throttle or do anything wild. I'll verbally tell you what's happening. All right. All right, so right side's clear for left country. Two, 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 holding zero to one zero left for departure one zero right. Set three two two, Papa Lima Hayward Tower, cross away one zero left at Fox Shot. Oh, so I, okay, so once right, I land, or should I, should I put the carb heat down then? So that right. I'm not kind of. Uh, so the carb heat being applied does change our manifold pressure limit as long right. as we're not at our critical altitude, right? Yeah, but that's only full carb heat. One and a half inches. Uh, I mean, and you can or do you, extrapolate or do that you a little bit. That? But um, that's, again, only if we're not yeah, at our critical altitude. You, uh, you can lower carb heat to keep it between 10 and 15 once you're on approach. But, I mean, if you're in a hover, definitely set it down, then adjust the carb heat, right? Affirmative, two bubbling. Thank you. Hey, we're Tower. Helicopter 4790, Hotel, requesting right close traffic to Zulu Beam Fire Station. Helicopter 479, Hotel Hayward Tower, make right traffic, taxiway Zulu Beam the fire station, clear for takeoff, clear to land. Taxiway Zulu Beam fire station, clear for takeoff, 479, Hotel. We were clear to land as well. Hayward Tower, helicopter 3070, Hotel yeah, over Coyote Hills, request that uh, inbound to land up Meridian. Oh, nice, I'm trying to Helicopter 307, Hotel Hayward hey, Tower, by Just 40 feet, knots for five knots, good. And then enter a right base for Zulu of Beam Meridian. Fly towards the pole plaza and then right base Bird. for Zulu of Beam Meridian. Matt, seven, Bird. zero. Bird. clear left. And more birds, easy. All right, and your controls. Hey, my control. You've got them. All right, so... 
coming in and they don't see us. That's okay. Watch around, dude. Yeah, I have the helicopter. Okay. All right, so That's we're gonna company traffic. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna simulate a partial loss of power. So you're cruising along 60 knots, not climbing or descending, and pulling 25 inches. What do you do? I just watch your altitude. I'm cruising along at what? Just 60 knots. 60 knots. Steady altitude. You're not climbing, and your manifold pressure gauge is reading 25 inches. Try to lower the. Hey, lower the uh, or lower the yeah, throttle. We don't have them inside. Are we clear to do it? Power requirement goes down. Oh, Dr. Simmons, Cheryl, tell me. If it doesn't. The uh, traffic is off your right two miles. You can turn base now. They're at 500 feet. Turning base and still looking for the traffic off our right. Yeah, 7 0. So, yeah, you'll definitely want to reduce engine load. Dr. 479 or Cheryl, tell turn base. Turning base, 479 or Cheryl, thank you. Helicopter 3070, hotel taxiway, Zulu, Abhi, Marie, and clear to land. Can you please call traffic now, 12 o'clock and 2 miles, 400. They're landing, Zulu, Abhi, the fire station. We'll go ahead and wait until the next pattern. Okay, Zulu, Abhi, Marie, and clear to land, and at the traffic in sight a second ago, um, we'll stay clear of 170. Let's go ahead and go, go around just so we have time. All right. Time to do this. All right. Hey, we're Tower 4790, hotel going around, right close traffic. Hotel Roger, make right traffic. Right traffic, 479 to Hotel 2 Zulu will be in the fire station. Okay, back to our previously scheduled program. So, yeah, flying along at 60 knots, and you're not climbing, and you're pulling 25 inches. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to reduce the load, and then I'm gonna see if we're looking for, looking for a place to land. Okay. Um, let's say you're close to the airport. Okay, we're tired. Okay, well, then, I'm be, then I'm going to be looking for a, probably a shallow approach and a First. running landing. Sounds good. How do you reduce the load? Reduce the load? Yeah, yeah. you mentioned you were going to reduce the load. Oh, Dr. 4790, Actually, Zulu will be in the fire station, clear to land. Actually, Zulu will be in the fire station, clear to land. Um, reduce the load. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna start descending. Yeah, maybe. Uh, it's yeah. gonna be in like auto. Well, it doesn't have to be quite that intense. Well, be prepared. Four seven hundred hotel. Do you have the traffic about your eleven correction near two o'clock and one mile helicopter in sight? Uh, uh, looking for traffic for seven hundred hotel. So if you don't have that traffic, just extend your downwind and I'll call your base. Extend your downwind and you'll call my base for some nerds. Oh, I've got him. Yeah, well. Is that previously called traffic short final? 4790 call. Helicopter 4790 call. Affirmatively, traffic is landing Zulu of Beam Meridian. Traffic site 4790 call. All right, there we go. Right, so, so thank you. Base turn your discretion behind them and do not overfly. Base turn my discretion, do not overfly. 4790. For some reason, I thought he was talking about another helicopter, not them. Got it. All right. Um, anyways, so yeah, you don't you don't want to lose your altitude too quickly. You want to stay, keep some altitude until you're within gliding distance of the airport. But yeah, slowing down the closer to your VY and uh, slow descent. That way you're not pulling a lot of power, but you also want to avoid sudden power changes. But yeah, you got it right. Shallow approach to a running landing. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Our lights are totally green. Go ahead and uh, talk me through what a running landing looks like right now. All right, so um, 
I'm gonna do shallow approach and then are you gonna give me a manifold pressure limitation? Uh, yeah, let's limit it to 20 inches. All right, so I have 20 inches and so I'm gonna be in trim until under 50 and then 50 feet and then I'm gonna be in trim. And then the main thing is just level before we touch. All right, Good and on. just uh, make sure you favor the right side of the taxiway because of those reflector dots. All right. And how do we slow down once we're in contact with the ground? Lower the collective, kind of yep. gently and slowly. Yeah. Maintain, uh, <coughs> maintain the uh, track with the uh, rear pedals on the ground. Our heading. Yep. Track, you'll do a little bit of left cyclic, so that translating tendency, right? Right. And then I usually put my car heat down. Got it. I can do that for you. All right on final approach so that we know exactly what our manifold pressure is. Sounds good. And just know no, we I'm have a left crosswind too, so you might need a little bit more left cyclic than typical. Okay, left cyclic. That's two Papa Lima, runway one zero right for takeoff. Actually, for takeoff, one zero right to Papa Lima. Aero 72 Victor, traffic departing prior to arrival, eclipse runway 10 right, total line wind 030 at 8. Okay, looking, Cardinal 267 to make. Slow down too much, get down into crown effect. 72 Victor, verify sure warning 10 right, total line. And then just ease it down. Clear to line 10 right, sorry about that, Cardinal 267 to make. Don't pull aft anymore, you want level skid, so a little bit more forward cyclic and slow that. Don't pull aft, don't pull aft, don't pull aft. Not forward cyclic, just sideways. Stay on the heading. There you go. Just make sure you don't get too tense, all right? Stay a little bit looser. Yeah. Um, yeah, just remember level skids is important. So even though, again, just like uh, with LTE where the ground's coming up at you and you're getting a little nervous, you want to pull back. We want level skids. Yeah, don't want to hit down on the heels. Yeah, we're heels. yeah the, the skids are designed to slide right. on, right? It's expensive if you land on the heels. Well, and not just that. If you hit it, it's going to springboard you forward. So what you're trying to avoid anyway is going to happen, but even worse. It's better to it's touch down with a slightly nose-low attitude than a nose-high yeah, attitude. Because, um, yeah, if you do with a slightly nose attitude, it'll just ease on. Yeah, so level skids is about this attitude, right? Right. So if you're already a little bit high and you're pulling back more, you're going to yeah. springboard yourself forward. Cool, let's pick it up. How'd that feel? Yeah. That was good. Cool. A little trickier with the crosswind. Yeah, definitely. All right, uh, right side's clear for a left hill turn. Size so clear for right left filter. Attention all aircraft, information India current, wind 030 at 10, zero, zero, altimeter 29 or 86. Alright. Yeah, um, only. Can I back taxi more or? Yeah, go ahead and give us some more, give us some more, uh, a little more, more takeoff room, right? Because we're always kind of tight on the climb. Um, Cardinal 72 Victor, say parking. Green. Green. Hold off here because they're turning to Meridian. So they'll be turning. Cardinal 72 Victor, Roger, turn left at Delta, cross 2110 left, then contact oh, ground. No, no, no. All right, right, so they're, 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 they're,
Okay, off at Delta, cross one zero left and then contact ground, car no two six seven to Victor's over the curve. And then uh, just remember, try to hold the cyclic a little bit more stable. So if we're uh, doing a pedal turn and we know we have a strong wind, you're just going to have to hold the cyclic into the wind as you make that pedal turn. All right. So let's go ahead and do one more 360 pedal turn, but I just want you to be really conscious of holding that cyclic into the wind, and then you won't have to move it around as much. All right. All right. Right side's clear for a left pedal turn. Try to hold it a little stable into the wind, nice and slow. Ground with car no two six seven to Victor on Delta Office one zero right. Uh, request taxi green ramp. Colonel seven two Victor still on tower, but you can taxi with me straight ahead to the green ramp. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, thank you. Car no two six seven to Victor straight ahead green ramp. Hayward Tower helicopter four seven nine zero tell requesting right close traffic to Zulu Beam Fire Station. Helicopter 90 Hotel, make right traffic, taxi Zulu clear for takeoff, Zulu Beam Fire Station, clear to land. Zulu Beam Fire Station, clear for takeoff, Zulu Beam Fire Station, clear to land, right close traffic. Fourth Zero Hotel, thank you. Hayward Tower, Just this attitude's good for the climb out. I don't have to get much faster. Clear for birds. And then watch that runway center line. So. Oh, okay, so. Yeah, if it's uh, runway one zero, um, we don't want to be any further left than one zero zero on our compass, right? Right. Obviously, that doesn't factor in ground track due to wind, but. Let's go ahead and run me through a governor failure. How do you know that your governor has malfunctioned? Well, let's watch our altitude. All right, clear left, center, right. How do I know my governor is not working? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna look at the engine tag. All right. So if it's not, if it's not holding the engine and the rotor, RPM pin. Or obviously if the governor light's on. Uh, if the governor light's on, that just means it's turned off, okay, right? So I'm going to lower the collective and roll on the throttle a little bit. Back cycling. Try to get in trim. Get lower. Control aircraft, use caution for a small flock of birds overhead mid sure field. Roll, roll on too much. Bench. Yeah, what do you do if your governor just keeps rolling it down on you and you keep doing low RPM recovery? Probably better just turn the governor off and then just fly manually. Okay, go ahead and do that. All right, keep the RPM in the green. Yeah, if it keeps rolling it off on you or it keeps rolling it up on you or it's really erratic, then yeah, governor off and manual throttle control. Make sure to do your pre-landing check even though you're distracted with the throttle. All right, lights out to the green, three in the green. Governor lights on. And you can go ahead and turn it back on since we have such a strong crosswind. We don't want to make the end there super difficult. Um, go ahead and set up a steep approach for me. All right. They're left center, right? So do you want to make a steep approach with 10 knot direct left crosswind? Uh, well, what do you mean? Like come in this way then? Yeah, maybe. I mean, we could still fly normal traffic pattern, right, but then maybe, then... yeah, go right and then turn into okay. the wind towards the end as soon as we're starting to really slow down. I would okay. rather do that. Yeah, that sounds good. Coming in a crosswind. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I mean, we are in a helicopter. That is the nice thing about not needing a runway, right? Right. All right, super approach on final. I usually put my car beam oh. down. And we'll land a beam the X for the abandoned taxiway. All right. 
just make sure we start slowing down early, getting down low, because we're pretty high, right? You do need full carb if we're below 18, though, but then you can lower it after. Actually, I was going for the compass uh, rose, but I don't think that's what you intended, was it? No, that's okay though. Just make sure you're focused. Mindful of where. Go to the side of the taxiway. And we still kind of came in parallel to the taxiway, right? Yeah. We were just kind of pointing so I can go, the wind. Well, yeah, so is it better to not do that? Do yeah, we? let's go ahead and. Uh, Bring it down a little bit lower, make it easier on us and the helicopter. And we'll go in a back taxi and we'll try that again. Okay, so going for this spot, but that's not the X, that's the Compass Rose. Yeah. Alright, uh, okay. right side. Just a little there. bit of miscommunication. Um, yeah, so we'll we'll line I mean I kinda threw it on you on the downwind after giving you a governor failure too, so like but we're talking about this deal with. intersection. Yeah, so the X for the abandoned taxiway oh, okay, there. Okay. Just to beam that. Okay. Um, All right. But yeah, so what happened was we came in and we were still in line with the taxiway. We just yeah. kind of stayed crabbed into the wind. So but what, did you want me to like actually come over the? Not necessarily directly over, but you can kind of come in yeah, a line with the taxiway like and then turn yeah, kind of like a little less okay. turn and then just terminate your approach into the wind. And then also just keep in mind um, steep approach. Well, I mean, yeah, we had kind of different landing spots that we were thinking of, right? I was thinking one place, you were thinking of another. So well, I was actually I was kind of headed for this, and then I thought, oh, then I don't know. For some reason, I was looking at the compass rose, and I said, oh. Maybe that's where I'm supposed to go, and so I, I started heading toward that. But I would have made this, but I, then I was kind of like, oh, I'm kind of short. So then I sort of leveled out a little bit and then, you know, didn't continue the angle. And, no, then, and then I picked it back up when I thought I was going to hit the compass rose, but anyway. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of a lot to spring on you in one pattern, too. <laughs> so we'll do that again, uh, if you want to. Uh, 112. We can also do hover autos. We can do, uh, do 112. No, actually, we should probably just go in. You want to do one hover auto? All right. If yeah. you want to. Sure. Good practice. All right, let me uh, turn around then. All right, right side's clear. Give us a little bit of curb heat. So what do we do for a uh, hover auto? Well, first, what's our indication? That we've had an engine failure in a hover. Uh, engine failure, hover. well, we're going to. And leave let's the go ahead engine. and face into the wind. Sounds clear, right? Oh, we're going to see the engine RPM go down, the road RPM go down. Well, and <laughs> faster than that, we're going to yaw to the left yeah. and we're going to. Parallel, okay. Not going to hear anything, right? Right. Yeah, so it's going to be a really fast yaw to the left. We're going to start settling. We're not going to hear anything. And then we're going to go, oh, yeah, our engine's yeah. off, right? So eyes forward. And then what do we do? What's uh, our reaction? So right pedal, to an right failure? pedal. Um, pedal, and then pedal, and then pull. Okay. Get a little bit higher. We can face directly into the wind, a little bit more left. I'll we'll just kind of use the bassy here as our heading 
All right. markers so we can tell how much we drift. So All we'll right. just get a little bit lower, a little bit stable. Everything looks good. And I'll roll the throttle off so that you just simulate what a real right. hover auto would be, okay? Not gonna do it too fast. I'll do it nice and slow right. for you first. All right, pedal settle, pull, hover auto in three, two, one. And then once you're on the ground, make sure you lower collective. So we just pulled up a little too early. Yeah. Yeah, just kind of wait, okay. cushion, and then once you're on the ground, collective down. But otherwise, that was good. All good right. heading control. Um, good ground track. All right. Cool. Let's roll it up. Do it one more time. How'd that feel to you? Yeah. Fine. So you have your private? Yeah. Looking to add on any more certificates eventually? Probably not. It's just fine for fun? Yeah. Nice. Facing in the wind again. And we'll just wait a little bit longer to cushion. So pedal, settle, pull. So give yourself that little buffer. Alright. Eyes forward. Hover auto in three, two, one. Cushion, easy, and down. Much better. Alright. You can go a little bit smoother too, and you can you can kind yeah. of feel yourself like it's almost like the flare in an auto, where like you start gentle and you increase, 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 and yeah. you can feel yourself like kind of pulling it out. Um, same thing with the collective. So if we just suddenly pull up, yeah. we're going to get an immediate stop in our yeah. in our descent, but then we'll fall a little bit. And it, like if we run out of energy, eventually we're going to fall anyway. But if you just kind of milk it, you start slow and you increase, so it's kind of like cushion, 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 down. But the biggest thing is, yeah, as soon as you're on the ground, get the pitch out of those blades. But good job. All right. Cool. Go ahead and pick us up and take it back. Yeah, the nice thing about kind of slowing your initial cushion, too, yeah. is if you realize you're doing it too high, then oh, you, you can, can wait to, to do it anymore. Right. Whereas if you do a sudden you're one, right. you're committing, right? Right. And of course, if you start slow and you realize the ground's right there, then you can do the sudden one. So it kind of gives you a little oh, bit see. more flexibility with it. Right. And uh, let's go ahead and ask for a hover taxi first. Tower, helicopter 47900 Hotel, request hover taxi on Zulu to Signature. Helicopter 900 Hotel, hover taxi to Signature via Zulu. Hover taxi to Signature via Zulu, 47900 Hotel, thank you. Is clear. Did you want the same place or you want it? Where do you want it? Uh, wherever. Wherever you want. I feel like one of the big things that I didn't get in like my initial training was people making me make decisions. So I'm trying to be better about. Okay, well then I'm gonna go over here. Letting all the people I fly with make their decisions. I kind of always trusted the flight instructor, and then I got in the left seat and was like, oh wait. <laughs> Now I'm the person in the left seat? Wait, the person in the left seat was like me right now? I just had like unwavering faith in them and their decision making, but we're all human. We need to practice making decisions. What is that yellow arc right there? Um, you want to stay out of the yellow arc for a tail rotor resonance. Yep.
I just make sure we get that carb heat down. That cylinder head temp starts cooling. Yeah, good job today. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, sorry, weren't ideal conditions for auto training, but I think That's we okay. got some other good emergencies in. Yeah. What do you do if your alternator light comes on in flight? Uh, turn off unnecessary electrical and then um, turn the switch off for one second, turn it back on. Okay. See if it, if it goes back on. What unnecessary equipment are you going to turn off? I don't have too many unnecessary equipment, but um, I'd probably just turn the, like, the lights off. Oh, uh, we've actually got a decent amount of stuff that has pretty high power the draw. Radio. So yeah, nav lights off, heater off if your heater heater's off. on. Okay. Can turn the GPS off. Um, obviously if you're in controlled airspace, get permission before you turn something like radio a transponder off. or a radio, radio off. Yeah. And again it depends on where you are, how far you are from an airport, if it's night, if it's day, a bunch of things that go into it. But yeah. Good job. Any right, questions? Uh, no.